Hey guys, welcome back to the Ace Comic Con live show presented by Code of Conduct Custom Tattoos. Joining us here in the booth right now is Megan with the Get Dead crew. Hello. We're going to do something we haven't done yet this weekend at Ace Comic Con. We're going to do a makeup uh, sort of tutorial. What, what did I call it earlier? Demonstration. A, a demonstration yeah. of how you people can put on your own uh, kind of horror makeup, uh, costume makeup. Yeah. Megan, how are you doing today? Wonderful. How are how, you? I'm great. you got a booth over there with the Get Dead crew, right? That's correct. I'm here with the Get Dead crew, and we're also here with Mad Monster Party magazine. Um, and we're over there doing some free photo ops, and I'm set up next door doing uh, makeup and face painting on anybody that wants to enhance their photo op or just okay. kind of get into cosplay last minute. Yeah. And, of course, I'm doing my own as well. Every time we walk by your booth, it is a madhouse. You guys are very, very popular here at Ace Comic Con. Thank you. So let's go ahead and just get into some of your uh, kind of makeup demonstrations here. Sweet. Well, I'm doing Lady Death today. So I'm just kind of hand painting the black on because it's a little easier to do this um, and talk to you guys, of course. Okay. Um, everything else that I've got right now is all airbrushed. Um, it's a little faster. It's more sanitary that way, especially when you're working with a lot of sweaty people at a convention. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look dry as a bone. Nice and crusty. So what kind of makeup are we using right now? Um, this is just Snazaroo. This is actually something you can get at like Michael's or pretty much any local craft store. So none of the stuff, other than the airbrush, none of the stuff that I'll be using is something that you can't get at home and use uh -huh. for Halloween. So it's like a heavy cake and you just put a little bit of water in it and... Yeah, it's water activated. Um, so I'm just adding water to my brush and wetting the palette as I paint. It's a lot okay. more controlled um, for fine lines, fine solid lines than airbrush. We're really getting the nose black. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see this at home, but the nose is blacking. <laughs> it's a little difficult to do it on these tiny mirrors, so bear with me. So what's the what's the funnest makeup job you've done so far this weekend? Hmm, I did a vision makeup, and that was pretty cool. Really? A little, a little challenging. I do more glamour or more gore, um, and that was more of the glamour, like, cosplay painty side, so uh -huh. it was a little challenging for me, and I, I had actually had a lot of fun with it. Have you ever done a vision before? Or were you not. making it up as you went along? Yeah, Did you have like a, a photo reference or something? Yeah, he had a reference photo, and he had the uh, full suit on. Really? Like the the bodysuit. And he showed have. up with no face makeup. Yeah, he was hoping. Preparation be is here. everything, people. He was hoping there'd be someone here. Luckily, there was. There, the Get um, Dead crew was here. Too. It was great. Sweet. Yeah, he had the purple spiky hair, and then he actually got a um, photo on our green screen over there, and Carlos edited it for him. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome. So Carlos is? The photographer for a okay. Mad Monster Party, and he's over there set up with the green screen, taking um, free pictures for anybody that wants to pose with the gauntlets. Nice. So how long have you been uh, kind of doing this? Sorry. <laughs> i got to um, ask her a question while she's doing the mouth part. Like a dentist. Um, I've been doing this for about seven years. I do a lot of conventions. Um, we typically do the makeup for, like, when you have a celebrity that does that in-character makeup and mm -hmm. they want to recreate it from the film or they'll use certain props from the film, we actually go and I will do the makeup for them um, for their photo ops. And we work with Carlos for that as nice. well. So I've done like Kane Hodder, Sid Haig, um, Kane Hodder's Jason Voorhees, for those of you that are more into con uh, comics instead of horror. The swirly mouth. You've got this just totally down to a science. <laughs> I make it look easier than it is. <laughs> Tony, you got any questions? I, like the, I thought the contacts were very interesting. You got the. I wanted to mention that. Yeah. Uh, do you? You got a place where you get your contact lenses? Um, I get all my lenses from contactlenshub.com. They have a phenomenal deal and. Surprisingly, for being as cheap as they are, these are some of the most comfortable lenses I've worn. Really? Um, I don't recommend wearing them if you have like prescription. You want to go and get you know a prescription from your uh, eye doctor to get those done. But these are non-prescription. I have astigmatism, so they do float a little bit. So you'll see this one will start Over to here. rotate. Over here. Okay. Yeah, this one will start to rotate a little bit. I was gonna say you're kind of looking like in a weird direction earlier. Sorry. No, it's awesome. But yeah, that one will rotate around um, just because of astigmatism. But they're they're very comfortable. They're soft, easy to take care of. Just got this totally down. <laughs> First of all, are you Hit from me. here? Yeah, we are from Chicago, Chuck Loda Comics. We are a a weekly YouTube show where every single Sunday we just kind of break down the week in review, all the nerdy stuff that happens in the world of movies and comics and fandom in general. 
Okay. Just trying to break that stuff down, but this week we're just kind of hanging out at Ace Comic Con doing doing interviews, talking to cool people like you. So my question for you is, why are there no full-length mirrors in Chicago? I have yet to see a single one. In the city of Chicago? Yes. You're a Navy Pier. There's a whole Funhouse mirror right outside. That doesn't count. That it does totally not counts. count. I spent 10 minutes at the Funhouse mirror yesterday. <laughs> Me too. No full-length mirror. <laughs> I was dressed up as Pennywise and they kept making my head shrink. See? That doesn't count, though. I mean, all the hotels I, I have I beg to differ. I beg to differ. There are no full-length mirrors. There are none in the bathrooms. It's very difficult as a cosplayer to adjust your costume. With interesting. Them. Interesting. We will, mirror. We'll talk to the mayor about that. See what we can do. So, so I do have a question for you. Um, can you talk about some of the makeup, the, the, the correct types of makeup that you can use for cosplay? Different layering, you know, what to use as undercoats, things like that. Okay. Um, I prefer the water-based makeups like I'm using right here because it's nice and smooth. It's not greasy. You don't have to worry about setting it, and they layer really well. Um, they're also super cheap, super blendable. And, again, this is Snazaru. This is the, the cheapest one that you can get at, like, a Michaels. Um, if you want to go a little more expensive and have something that's going to be more translucent and easier to layer, uh, Wolf FX is one of my favorite ones. They've got a great set of skin tone. Um, they've got a great set of, like, bruise kind of colors. Bruise colors. And, like, so they're a little more translucent. These are very opaque, so they're going to go on nice and heavy and solid, which is great when you want that. Yeah. But the Wolf effects are a little more um, camera-ready, not quite as haunt and bold. Okay. So it just depends on the look that you're going for. Do you ever do any, like, uh, prosthetic stuff, or are you strictly face paint? I do. For the most um, part. I do prosthetics as well. I don't really bring those with me to the conventions just because if it's not something you've had on your face before, right. it's, you need a special remover to take them off and it can be a little confining. So it's not something that's for everyone. You have to be really committed to want to have a prosthetic on all day. True, true. Um, sometimes I'll do demos at a lot of the panels and conventions. We'll go to, we'll do panels, demos, and like I'll have a model that I'll put a whole face prosthetic on. Uh, but that's not something I typically offer. The cool. general public. Cool. <laughs> did you see the mystique that was walking around earlier? Her I did not. full blue. We did a. We just wrapped up an interview with her. Yeah. Absolutely spectacular. Check it out on the YouTube channel, Chuck Little Comics. It was spectacular. Full body. She made her own latex uh, prosthetics. She made all the molds. Took her like nine hours to put on. Yes, it's it can definitely great. be time consuming. We're all just staring. <laughs> Tony, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing okay. How's your con going so far? I'm really excited about the main stage. Remember, guys, Infinity Feud. If you are watching this and you're at Ace Comic Con, 415, we're going to be closing out the show on the main stage with our game show, Infinity Feud. Grand prize, a autographed uh, Chris, Chris Evans, Evans yeah. Captain America Civil War poster, hand-signed, unless he used his feet. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Infinity Feud happening in just a few hours. Yes, see it, enjoy it. People are going to be battling for major prizes. Yes, it's going to be great. It's going to be a bloodbath. Have you ever done this makeup before? This exactly? Okay. 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 <laughs> doesn't really have too much of the face paint on so right. it's just kind of white but like that's so boring yeah but what fun would that be exactly. this is a, that would be a terrible demonstration as far as brushes go you don't really need to spend a ton of money but my favorite brushes are Delium Tools they're fantastic you can get okay. them online they have so many different like tapered brushes um, okay that's this one here that I'm Uh, they're very tapered. They've got a lot of textured brushes. Love these guys. And they're really good quality. So if it's something you're doing a lot of, or if you're doing prosthetics and you're putting these in like glue and stuff, these are the best brushes you can use. I love them. Sweet. How are we doing over there, Tony? It's looking good. I like the it's looking I like really the detail. good. It looks awesome. Tony? At this point, maybe we, we could just uh, we could just let, let her do her thing and see, yeah. we see the final prize. Let's let's. So we're gonna do the lips. 
Chuck's going to do a play-by-play. I'm sorry. I've ran out of things to ask. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try the uh, trivia challenge really quick. We're going to ask you nothing but Lady Death questions. You said you're a big comic book. Uh, you know everything about the character. No, we're not going to do that. Joe. Well, you did say you, you do. You are interested in like zombie type stuff. So you, uh, you're you're into Walking Dead, I'm assuming, or at least the art of. The art of it, yes. Um, I honestly don't have a TV like at all, so I don't watch very much TV. Um, but I did start at watching The Walking Dead. I got to like the first four seasons, and then I kind of gave up from there. <laughs> They seem to really up, you know, every episode they, they're they're really interested in like showing like a different type of like zombie or makeup, like how they do the different damage and yeah. all, every episode that's what they talk about. We had this this person, you know, the the person in the ground, the headless zombie, all that stuff. Yep. Which is really cool, you know. It's fun to see all the different styles of effects. And when they do their effects too, they actually do like a whole line of people basically. So five or six artists will work on one makeup. It's pretty cool to see them all kind of collaborate together and have such a nice piece at the end. Cool. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Um, get Dead Crew. Do people uh, get in touch with you? Uh, do you any? Do you do any sort of special events outside of the? Uh, convention circuit yeah um, we do private parties we teach panels and classes um, we do a lot of film work we travel for a lot of film a lot of conventions this um, looks great by the way thank you thanks so much um, yeah great so guys check out the get dead crew online website uh, hashtag got dead that's right got dead check them out thanks a lot for being here really really appreciate it no problem and enjoy the rest of your con thanks you guys do thanks for having me. thank you great. thanks